Welcome to FreshMy.com. My name is Eric, and we are going to animate a blender. It's not a modeling tutorial, so of course I'm not going to show you how to model a blender. It's just some simple geometry, but I think it's worthwhile at least looking at the geometry itself. All right, we just got everything's in polygons. I've got a lid, I've got a container, I've got a handle, I've got a blender body, I've got some buttons here, and inside the container we've got some blades and a pin. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to animate these buttons. And I've got them in a way to where my rotation, if I go into a wireframe, my rotation is at the top corner so that when I rotate it, it rotates my buttons like this rather than it being in the center of our button. Right, smooth shade so you can see when we rotate that way, it looks like the button's being uh, press down. And that's around the X. So if you look here in the channel box, you'll see that the X value is changing. And what I'm going to do is I want these buttons to be rotated from zero degrees when they're, when they're off or all the way to 40 degrees when it's on. Okay, so for these buttons, Rotate it around X, zero degrees off, 40 degrees on. The white button is the off button. The blue button is the slow button. And I've got them named exactly that. This yellow button is the medium button. And this orange one, actually let's change this one, call it fast button. So fast speed. So instead of putting low, medium, high, I actually have slow medium and high. Okay, and then inside here, let me let me just put all this other part on a layer. L Y R underscore hidden. Just a layer that I can just throw stuff on and hide it. Alright. That way I can get to these blades a little bit easier. We've got an upper uh, top blade and we got a bottom blade and then we have this pin. What we're going to do is we're going to rotate this pin, animate it turning. But I want these blades to animate with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both the top and bottom blades first. And then the last thing I select will be the pin. And then I'm going to push the letter P on my keyboard. And what that does, it parents those blades to this pin. So if I select just a pin, the, since the pin is the parent, these blades are the children, so if I select the parent object, it's automatically going to select all the children. So now if I rotate just the pin, the blades turn with it. Alright, so that's, our, that's going to be our animation. We've got four different buttons, so four speeds, zero, slow, medium, fast, and we're just going to call these speeds zero speed, a speed of 1, a speed of 2, and a speed of 3. And depending on what speed is going to determine how fast this pin is going to rotate around Y. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to pull everything back. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and keep that hidden for now. First thing we need to do is create a control that we can use to control the speed. So I'm just going to create a circle. And I'm just going to lower that down, scale it up just so I can access it pretty easy. I'm going to give this circle a name. Let's call it Blender Control. All right, this circle, or from here on out, is going to be called Blender Control. Our Blender Control has several attributes. It's got a Translate X attribute. If you look over here in my channel box, it's got a Translate Y attribute, a Translate Z attribute. It's got a rotate X, Y, and Z attributes. It's got scale attributes. And it also has a visibility attribute. We want to add an extra attribute. And we want to call it something like blender speed. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure that our blender control is selected. And I'm going to go up to modify menu. Go down to add attribute. We're going to give our attribute a name. So let's call it blender speed 
data type. Right now it's on float, that's fine. I'm going to just change it to integer. Minimum value, I'm going to do zero. Maximum value, I'm going to make three. That's going to be the speeds for our blender. Zero being off, one being slow, two being medium, and three being fast. I'm going to click OK. So now if you look over here in our channel box, our blender control has a new attribute called blender speed and we set a minimum value of zero and a maximum value of three so if I go in here and I try to type negative one it's not gonna let me it goes to zero If I try to type in 0.5 it's not gonna let me because I had it set to an integer integer means it's only gonna be whole numbers so one two three four five I can't do 1.2 or stuff like that if I try to type in four it goes to three because the maximum that it will go that we set it for was three so the only thing that we can put in our blender speed now is 0, 1, 2, and 3. <clears throat> so I hope that makes sense to you. All right, the next step, so now we have our control set up, is to make our blender speed attribute over here that when we change this attribute, we want it to change the, ro the X rotation of these buttons, and we want it to change the Y rotation of our pin. What we're going to do that is I'm going to go ahead and connect this ex expression to the pin since that's the main thing I'm going to be animating here is this pin going around. So I'm going to select the pin. Over the channel box, I'm going to select, say, rotate Y because we're going to be rotating around the Y. Then under the edit menu, I'm going to click on expressions. And actually, uh, if you don't see this over here, you can also go up to your... Windows menu down to animation editors over to expression editor. You can just open that up. And now in this window, let's give our expression a name. So I'll just type exp for expression underscore. Well, I'll just say, I'll just say um, blender animation. All right. The next section, I've got a pin object selected. And I'm on the attributes, I'm going to select the rotate Y. That's the main thing I'm going to be rotating. We could select our buttons or any, anything we wanted to. Okay, down here in the expression, this is where we're going to type in our uh, code, so to speak. But wouldn't it be easier if we could just go in here and we could just type in if our control is equal to zero then push down the off button and spin the pin slowly and then we type another sentence saying if our control is equal to one then push down whoops down the slow button and spin the pin uh, quickly. Then if our control is equal to 2, then, and actually I guess 0 up here would be uh, off button, and don't spin the pin. The next one would be spin the pin slowly. So if we could just do this, it would be pretty easy. And it's basically almost this easy.